Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Zach Sopak and today I am going to show you the best camera settings that you can use for run and gun shooting. Let's get into it. I don't know about you, but I love going out and shooting with friends, going out and shooting for clients, going to just different local landmarks or getting to go travel, be outdoors, go somewhere where there's some cool landmarks and just shooting for fun, for getting content, anything like that, I am all about it. But one of the things that can actually be frustrating and time consuming while I'm out and about just trying to get things, capture moments while they're happening in this run and gun style of shooting is actually fumbling around with different camera settings. I can't tell you how many times I've gone to capture a moment quickly and my settings were all whacked out. And maybe you found yourself in these types of situations too. Well, you're in luck because I've got some camera settings that are gonna save you some time and help you in your run and gun shooting. Now let's first talk about run and gun photography. And before I show you the settings, I'm just gonna warn you, it'll probably change the way that you approach photography and it might ruin you from manual mode. The first thing that I do for my photo mode on my camera is I actually set it to aperture priority. Now all cameras are gonna have this top dial on the front where you can cycle through manual, shutter priority, or auto, custom mode, stuff like that. The one that you want is the A mode, which stands for aperture priority. And set your aperture to whatever it is that you want. F1.8, F2.8, F4, 5.6, whatever it is, just set it to the aperture that you want and then set your ISO to auto. Now, when you set your camera this way, that means you can just go running around and if your subject's in a bright environment, your camera is going to adjust the shutter speed and the ISO to match your aperture. So when I'm out and about shooting, I'll just set my camera to, let's say F1.8. And if my subject is in a bright environment, my camera is going to adjust for the bright environment. It's going to get the exposure proper. If we all of a sudden jump into a shadowy environment that's not as bright, then the camera is going to adjust to make sure that the exposure is set properly. This is really great too if I'm going transitioning from outdoors to indoors or anything like that. The camera is doing all the work and then I'm freed up to just focus on my composition. Maybe I'm just talking with the talent or the subject or I'm able to move things around to make sure that everything is properly composed. These cameras settings are also really great for beginners who are not yet confident in shooting fully manual photos with their cameras. Now this is not to say that you should never learn manual mode on your camera. You definitely should, but aperture priority is a good starting point. And even for people who are professionals, I say these camera settings are a really cool opportunity to really open up your creativity and not have to worry so much about what you're doing with your camera. Moving on to run and gun video settings. Now, in order to pull this off properly, you're gonna need a camera that enables you to save custom modes. So I use Sony cameras. These typically come with two different custom mode options where you can preset frame rates, you can preset white balance, ISO, shutter speed, picture profiles, all that good stuff. Now, if you have a camera with these custom options, here are my suggestions. Take that first custom mode, and set it to 24 frames per second. This is the most cinematic looking frames per second option. Then set your camera's ISO to whatever its native ISO is. Set the white balance to something that you can customize while you're on the fly, depending on the environment where you're at. And then set your shutter speed to one over 50. Typically you wanna set your camera's shutter speed to double of your frame rate. So in this instance, we go from 24 as our frame rate to one over 50 as our shutter speed. And then if you have any sort of picture profile option that you'd like to use, like I like to do on these Sony cameras, then you can also choose to enable a custom profile and then save it to that first slot. Now that we have our first custom mode saved, we're gonna move on to our second one and it's gonna be pretty similar. We're gonna have the same ISO, we're gonna have the same white balance, we're gonna have the same picture profile, but we are going to change our frame rate. Now my suggestion is to use 
a higher frame rate for this second option, like 60 frames per second or 120 frames per second, maybe even 240, depending on your camera and what you're trying to do. Having a higher frame rate will enable you to record footage and then slow it down in post for nice, beautiful looking slow motion. So choose whatever frame rate suits your needs best. I typically like to shoot at 120 frames per second, but that's my preference. And then the other thing that you need to change is your shutter speed. Now we already established in the first custom mode that whatever your frame rate is, you wanna double that with your shutter speed. Now while you're out and about doing your run and gun shooting, if you wanna have something at 24 frames per second, you just set it to that first custom mode, record your video, good to go. Now you wanna get some slow motion, switch it over to number two, you're able to record and have that video at a higher frame rate so that way you can slow it down in post-production. Now keep this in mind, these settings are not ideal for every single type of photo or video situation, but they are extremely useful for helping you get some good settings quick so that way you can just run around and start shooting without having to worry too much about if your camera is set properly or not. Well, hey, I hope you got some value out of this video and that it was at least mildly entertaining. Let me know in the comments down below what setting is your favorite, what settings did I leave out, did I miss anything? Let me know in the comments down below. But hey, if you did get value out of this video, why don't you go ahead and add some value right back to it by hitting that like button and also consider subscribing to this channel for more regular content just like this. And don't forget to hit that bell icon, you know, so you never miss out anytime I post a new video. So run around, get some good shots, have fun watching while you're doing it. And until the next time, my name is Zach Sopak. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.